<laughs> what is that? On the trail, what is it? But it's not working. I just break the VW. Look, Honda Prelude. What is that? Today, guys, we came to LA Auto Show 2023. Let's see what new, uh, let's see what's interesting it's gonna be. And uh, I know there is some brands, they're not, they not coming early. Like every year, Tesla is not here. Last year, the year before, they don't wanna come. They don't want people to see the cyber truck basically and all the gaps they have it so there is some brands i know i'm not sure but i think there is no audi bmw no porsche no mercedes uh this year there's a lot of electric cars there is a lot of hyundai's kias there is a new there is a new uh there is a new uh e-bike that's we're gonna see it right here right now down there there is a tuning as always last year i mean i think maybe like several years ago i've been here but not last year so there's a lot of tuning atelier and tuning uh shops who's selling some kind of stuff so like this one for example there is a uh, novatec uh, let's see what they sell and they renovate your motorsport probably they doing some upgrades for the cars like this jeep the same as i have the mclaren it's not the same as i had before but it's a 720 i think so they're probably doing a lot of crazy stuff. Honestly, I'm not a tuning guy. I don't like all the modifications uh, on this car because basically they are good, in my opinion, for like, a, for like a year or so. And after that, all that modified cars, they just losing the price, losing the value itself. So like this GT3, whatever, GTS is there. So that's the actually e-bike. That's the one Verge everybody was talking about yeah. the electric superbike wow that's cool man. look at the wheel the wheel is crazy man So we just came it's uh we're not even inside inside the auto show that's just the lobby they're just the beginning we're just going to show to you what's going on outside so you guys probably don't have to spend 27 bucks for the ticket just watch us and we're going to show you all the highlights at this la auto show uh also if you guys are interested in something i mean some brands just put your comments below and we're gonna check it out and look at that closer if you want to see the new mustang uh what is it dark horse uh actually i ordered one it's coming soon if you want to see new hyundai or something else something new just let us know in the comments below so we can we can go and check it out i can touch it for you i can turn some buttons or i can show you the quality of the cars what's coming on the market later on this year or 2025 like the subaru everybody talking about because probably only one car uh, kind of desired 2025 Subaru Forester. Uh, look at this wheel. It's just crazy. It's insane. I don't know how the people are gonna ride on this uh, on this bike like that, but it's just insanely cool. Oh, the charger. It's that's beautiful, man. I have no idea about the technology. Wow. Dirt motorcycle. Uh, okay, let's go. We can come back. Uh, honestly, whatever we're watching right now, whatever we're checking, I just want to go all around auto show and see what kind of cars they have. And uh, if there is something interesting, there is something cool, we definitely gonna come back to that and uh, check it out again especially for you if you wanna uh if you wanna if you want to ask something you know or you're missing something you want us to come back we're gonna go and check it again the 
That's what's kind of in the preview I was reading about. So all this LA Auto Show, it's basically uh, focused on uh, American brands, American cars. Maybe that's why some German brands, they're not joined this year. But uh, electric cars, I think Korean and American, that's that's what's going to be primary on the, this uh, the, this LA Auto Show. So let's go around. There is a look, Hyundai. What about Rally Hyundai? Would you take your Elantra for Rally? Uh, that's questionable, but I know they are. They are doing a lot of crazy stuff. Elantra N. Ionic. Ionic N. Look at the brakes, man. Just look at these brakes. I mean, it's insane. The seats. I mean, interior is crazy. I don't like electric cars, honestly, especially after, after several, <clears throat> several cars I drove electric and what's the range on that and all that kind of stuff. I just don't like it personally, but this car is beautiful. Inside, wow, 245 miles range for this car. I think it's fully charged. We have a USB right there. Probably we can program it and do it super sport race mod. Let's go next. Let's go next to Elantra and did you see the exhaust ta tailpipes on this car? Wow. That's like the Ford Mustang 5.0, kind of. Same as 2021. I... Okay. I'm gonna be passenger. Woohoo! So what we got here? We got a new steering wheel. We got a new dashboard. Not dashboard. Cluster. All of them. All all the automakers right now they're making the same way dashboard cluster. That's like the style. New generation style for the cluster and dashboards. Cadillac Escalades. Uh, Hyundai's BMW Mercedes is they all going the same way. It looks like the same designer used, I mean, same designer working on those cars. And that's the rally version of Elantra N. This car is locked. Nice. I thought it might be like a plastic shell or something. No, there is actually a fender right under, and that's the body kit. Hmm, let's go. BMW, I think that's only BMW we're gonna see. That's uh, XM, MX, SUV, it's locked, not automation. It's a dealer selling the car and they they just promoting their own brand. They're not promoting the BMW. One fifty, one seventy thousand for the SUV BMW. Is it worth it to buy it? Let me know what you think. I don't think it's worth it. Plus, I think one more, two more years, the price is gonna go down on this car. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay. End line. End line. So it looks like there is a new generation of Hyundai's coming. It's gonna be end line, like AMG or M for BMW. It's gonna be N for the Hyundai. That's cool. The wheels, the interior seats. Elantra, I mean, it is a nice, reliable car. Plus the warranty they have, 100,000 miles for the powertrain warranty, and nobody doing the same way as a Hyundai and Kia. 
That's why they sell a lot of cars, a lot. And it's always on demand. If it's new one, used one, doesn't matter. Since I have exactly the same cars, but the interior a little bit different, the seats are different than the commercial. They're spending a lot of money for commercials, so you can buy their products. Да. Too soon. Kona, N-Line. So all the cars looks like it's going to be N-Line. N-Line Sport. So that's the Hyundai. Kona. N-Line. So what do we got for N-Line? We got the red lines everywhere. We got the sport seats. Clean, nice interior. Dashboard. Cluster. All the same. I like the color. That color is so nice. That's why they put a lot of cars in the same color. Elantra, this Kona, this Tucson, and Line also. So we're going inside, and what we see right here, we do see the Toyota and the Hyundai. I think those guys, those guys selling the most cars in the United States. Oh, you want to do a test drive? Look. Like a, like a ice skating. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Oh, it is ice skating actually. It is ice skating, man. Me. Yes, no. Oh, no, it's not. It's not ice skating. It looks like, but it would be nice. Ionic 6, Ionic 5. I'm not a fan of Hyundai's. I'm a fan of used Hyundai's, <laughs> not the new one. Look at this flat color for the Ionic 5. I remember when, uh, when my guys, when my friends at New Car Store, they've been waiting for that car, and people they were willing to pay up to 50, 55,000 for this car, just because it was high demand. But as soon as they got 5, 10. Right now they do have them in stock and not so many people want to buy it for some reason. There is a SC, is EL and limited. Limited version 53,350. So it's more expensive than Tesla. Uh, let me know if you would buy this Ionic 5 or you would buy the Tesla Y or Tesla 3. I would buy three used Teslas S and I would keep them a free supercharge for my lifetime and still gonna be much better choice than one ionic 5. we can check it mirai it's overpriced super super questionable car in my opinion so you have to buy it you have to lease it but you're gonna what is it what's the price on that like 60 000 40 000 50 000 and you get in the card 15 000 card so you can you can fill it up for free but after your card is gone but uh, after your cart is gone, this car is going to cost like 15, 17,000. You can buy it. But the hydrogen, it's not cheap. It's going to be more expensive than the gas or hybrid car to fill it up. That's why the price going down right away after your cart, the free refill, yeah. <laughs> refill it's going gonna, it's gonna to expire. Reuses, limited. Mm, yeah, it's exactly the same Prius as I had and uh, that's what we've been doing the video about the Prius there is nothing new they added it's same as the 2023 I think that's the concept they might gonna produce it actually 2025 Tacoma X Pre-runner, it's supposed to be a stick shift. Ta-da! Camry! 2025 Camry! Hey, hey! Prototype. Vehicle is locked. Oh, nice. So the dashboard on this car, it's the same as we've been filming yesterday. Fisker Karma 2012. They're using the same materials. And that's what I've been uh, what I've been thinking and I was telling my friend about it 
So basically those cars were not ready yet for the production. They're not gonna be open. They're gonna be locked. Like this Camry, for example, see all of them, they say prototype, the car is locked, like this one, that one. So probably they have a lot of different things inside. They didn't fix it yet. So they don't, they don't wanna scare the people out of buying the car or ordering the car. Like for example, there is a, it's supposed to be a SUV, uh, what is it, Lucid, Lucid SUV, but they not allowing people to drive this car, to sit inside the car. Just because they don't want to see what's going on, how many different things not perfect yet, they just want to get more uh, funding for the company to keep the company running, to keep company building those cars. Even they're going, going bankruptcy, that's what some sources are saying. That's actually one of the units, one of the car. It's not depreciating over the years. It's in a, I think it's in top 10 cars what's not depreciating fast as a BMW. I know number one about uh, not depreciating, that's gonna be 911. I think Subaru, BRZ and the uh, Toyota, FRZ, whatever it is, they are number seven or eight. So basically Subaru and Toyota, they've been working before like this unit and right now they're doing uh, electric cars, same. So Toyota sharing the same platform with Subaru. So Subaru not gonna spend a lot of money to build their own car, which not gonna sell that good as an Impreza. For some reason, they brought the old 4Runner. There is a new one coming. Uh, my order was supposed to come September, but they postponed it, postponed it for next year, because there is still a lot of new cars in stock. So the Toyota itself cannot produce more, I cannot produce new body style 4Runner or new body style Tacoma until all the dealers gonna sell the old stock cars. So basically, if you wanna buy the Forerunner, just wait till next year, because either next year gonna new body gonna come, it's gonna come for sure, or the prices for the new Forerunners, the old body style gonna drop a lot. Tundra. TRD. Same as I, my name. Twenty-four miles. Twenty-four miles. Sequoia. I think it's a platinum Sequoia. Again, they're not they're not selling as good as they they were thinking they're gonna sell. Tada! That's the Crown SUV. Crown Signia. All new. I'm not buying this kind of car. <laughs> I'm not buying Crown <laughs> for sure because I still have mine. That's number one. Number two, uh, it's maybe actually SUV gonna go better a little bit. Inside, it's the same Crown. Outside, it's it's a half Crown, half Prius, half Lexus. They put it all together like the the headlights. Headlights reminded me Prius. The front grille reminded me Lexus. New RX TX, they have the same grill and uh, inside interior, same as a crown. They don't have a prices yet, that's why they're not doing prices. Yeah, please, guys, subscribe. It's not gonna take long for you, just click subscribe. And I'm gonna, I am appreciating you watching it. I am appreciating if you're gonna subscribe and watch my other videos, or later on, we're gonna do some other cool videos that's the Venza same as 2021 so there is nothing interesting about it maybe maybe it is interesting that's the Corolla Cross so basically if you like if you love Corolla Corolla Cross it's gonna be perfect choice for you because there is some it's something between Corolla itself and the RAV4 so somewhere in the middle New Sienas, they are on high demand. You have to order one and you have to wait. But right now, randomly, somebody canceled the order, the car came, and I know for a fact the payment for this car about 1200. Lease, lease payment, 1200 for the van. So you can, uh, and this one is platinum. Wow, what's the DVD on the back? Toyota, they don't care. Look. Who 
we selling Sierra. We're not selling you leather. We're selling Sienna. Sienna is good. Leather not. <laughs> so buy Sienna, not uh, seeds. You have under. Honestly, when you're walking between the Toyotas, all for you kind of, it's kind of the same. You're checking this car inside, that car inside, they do have the same kind of design and the screens. And you know for a fact, Toyota is going to hold all the mileage you're going to put on it. It's going to go, it's going to go 15,000 miles between the oil changes. <laughs> hey, is it a Nissan uh, fans here? In Russia, people saying, Kupil Nissan, yibis Nissan. Means, if you buy a Nissan, you're gonna spend your time <laughs> to fixing it yourself. Don't even call me. That's, uh, that's how good is Nissan. Armada, Armada. $67,000 MSRP for this beautiful Nissan Armada. Uh, SL, SL edition, it's a 2023 Nissan Armada, but basically the door from this car, you can take it out and put it on a 2011 Nissan Armada or Infiniti QX 56. I don't know why I'm holding this magazine, there is millions of those, but I just got it because it's all about electric cars, so I'm just gonna check it out if there is something interesting on the way, I'm gonna go and point that car. So, so basically Armada, it's about the same as the old one. They did a lot of upgrades, they did a lot of uh, modifications, but in general, is it, the same? it is the same size SUV as it used to be before. Nissan Murano, same as a 2011 body style. There is nothing interesting about this car. We came to check something new. We came to check some maybe area, but there is a lot of them on the street already in LA. Uh, GTR, GTR Nismo, even if it's the same, same body, they did some modifications on that and it's interesting to check it out. There's a Sentra. But don't do so quickly you want to change your mind because Nissan Thrill Street Trivia is starting now. You are playing for a MetaQuest 2 VR goggle. Guess what the prize is at noon? Yeah, hold on to yourselves. I'm giving another one of those away to the winner of the 12 o'clock game. Focus, move fast. Here it comes. Question number one. The Nissan Aria features two interior screens. How big are they? Are they 7-inch screens, 12.3-inch screens, or is it 65-inch ultra high depth? <laughs> I'm thinking about how good is the Nissan. It's not Brilliant leaking oil, so they can lift it up and people can side walk side the under the car. That's why BMW and Mercedes says they cannot do that. Right <laughs> that's the that's the good point. Let's go check the electric Nissan. Your future of electric, electric Nissan. We're gonna go check the W I D Buzz. That's actually one of the car. I'm interested to check it out. And uh, there is some. There is one electric SUV, electric truck actually. 
never been presented before. We're gonna check on that car. Probably guys with that electric truck, they are looking for funding. They are looking for money support so they can build more cars. That's why they, the new Leaf. You are the fan of the Leaf. I like the old style rims. Actually, there's a truck right there. They do have uh, rims from 80s. Those rims are cool. Aria. Nissan Aria. Carlos gone. Nissan Aria, it's a beautiful small SUV, electric one. Look at the materials inside. Wow, that's like the premium luxury. Wow, door panels. Look at the material. I can feel it, I can touch it. Dashboard, the same. Wow, look. The central console, you can, you can move it. It's electric one, so it's going back on forward how you move it ah oh, there is a button right there nice see the central console you can move it adjust it how long is going to keep working can you answer that i think nissan is going to keep working For some reason, when you check and or buying Japanese car, you never thinking about this car gonna break down or this car something gonna happen on your road trip. But when you buy a Mercedes or BMW, before you drive, you always try to put roadside assistant phone number somewhere in front of you. So in case of something, you can call them. But with those cars, you not you don't have to worry about it. So LC Lexus, they change a lot of stuff, but the body is same, IS, F Sport. This Lexus NX hybrid, that's cool car. It's been on the market for a period of time, and there is kind of demand card because it's a hybrid and it's a SUV, it's a Lexus. UX, NX, ES hybrid, RX hybrid, all those cars are on high demand. I love it too, I'm not gonna buy it. LS 500. Ah, oh, there is a new one, there is a GX right there, we're gonna check it out. MSRP starting at 78,000. The one that's on the display, 91,000 MSRP. 91,000 MSRP. So there is a three choices for the SUV, I mean, for the premium luxury, ultra luxury, I would say, uh, business class. <coughs> Sedan, it's gonna be seven series S class or LS. Which one would you prefer? I would say S-Class, but Lexus, it just, wow, that's, let's go inside. <laughs> that's so cool. The controller, the remote control for the rear seat is exactly the same as in, uh, in 90s. So in 90s, Lexus and Toyotas, they've been doing exactly the same thing. And that's what's going on in this car. Чувак большой сел, вся машина закачалась. There is a lot of space in this car, but for some reason, ah, it's probably the suspension right now is not working. Looks like it's an air suspension. It's supposed to go up a little bit. RX, that's the GX. That's the new GX. I hope I'm gonna get it soon. Let's jump inside. Yeah. 
Well, Mark Levinson uh, sound system. Let me let me jump in. Websites. Wow. one would you get TX or GX I think this car is more like a like a luxury SUV and a GX look all the buttons it's a fake <laughs> or they not ah no they not fake I just didn't get the way they supposed to work I was thinking that's the that's the adjuster but actually the spinning wheel is right inside it's uh, super questionable. For some reason, Toyota Lexuses, they taking <laughs> shifter snap out. So there is no shifter up. So what do we got? We got the cameras, we got self parking. We got a climate control. Why, why it's like that? Why? I mean, is it like, ah. Uh, I don't understand. It, something's supposed to be on the top of it. I think they took it out. It's supposed to be some kind of cover, so because there is a click. I mean, see this metal piece? Something missing. And this knob is missing too. Maybe loud your sources. Okay. Okay. I would say I would go with TX instead of GX. I think this car never going to be uh, compatible with Lexus or S classes. Whatever stuff they're going to put on this car, it's not going to be. On the same luxury level as the Lexus LS or 7 Series or S class. Even if they looks like. Let's go check inside. Look at the interior though. Red. Multimedia. Let's go here. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> check I want to check if any car has internet connection and there is a YouTube if there is a YouTube we're gonna put the uh... Wow G90 G90 it's a super Wow, look, look what's going on here, <laughs> Mike. I can open and close the door by pushing the button right here. <laughs> Look. Pushing the button. Bye-bye. Uh, take me to Santa Monica, please. Driver, hey, hurry up. Wake up. So it's inclined rear seat, same as uh, S-Class. We do have uh, something else. 
Uh, I can. Yeah, it's starting from eighty-nine thousand two hundred. So I've been saying this car has MSRP about one twenty thousand, and I'm about right. If it's starting from ninety thousand, they usually doing top lim limited edition top one or something close by to the top. That's the ID for they took it apart. It, it, uh, Is it uh, news channel live? We can talk to them. I can tell them what I'm thinking about uh, VW itself. Starting from 38,000, 38,900, still too much. <laughs> That's that's the VW. That's the VW. What the people want? That's the VW people are waiting for. I think this car existed in Europe. If you know, let me know in comments below. I think it is existed, and I think in Europe you can buy it and drive it. Not, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure 100 percent. Why they not selling it here? I have no idea. It's such a nice fun car to drive from the outside it is a fun car to have one ID7 so they're going to luxury premium segment on uh, electric cars that's the one we can close together close Can I sit inside? Yes, I can. I can put the seats down. Look, did you see that? Did you see that? Oi, 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 I, I just break it. Sorry. Run. <laughs> just run, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it back. Don't worry about it. Ah, no, that's it. It's, uh, it's not going to go back. Oh, okay, so now you have to push it. See, it's malfunction. <laughs> I just break the VW. Look, check it out right there. It's blinking. So this, it's a malfunction. VW, okay, run, run. What, are, what are you doing? Look. I, I suggest you... Probably this, this part has a part number. But uh, should I leave it like that or put it back? Mike, tell me. I'm not here to break the car. I, I, I'm here to check the cars, but they, they, they are falling apart, so there is nothing I can do about it. Uh, so this, this stuff, it's a malfunction. It's not going, ah, no, it's going back. If they are selling in Europe those ID buzz, why they are not selling it in the United States? Why they presenting it here as something new, something like we just, we just build it for you guys, check it out. But it's been on the market for, couple years I think and they show it maybe like five years ago so there is electric blazer Chevy EV what do you think about EV Chevy Silverado EV Wow, look at the look at this uh, cool option on the Silverado. So it's a truck, but you can open the the back wall all the way to the inside the car. 755 horsepower on the EV Silverado. Electric Equinox. Equinox. Corvette. I think that's the electric Corvette right there. I mean, you can't touch it, you can't go to it. See, the regular Corvette, you can go check it out. Regular Silverado, Camaro. Same old 
Buddy Camaro. Oh, oh la la, look. Huh. Ta da Some extra space. That's super smart. That's super smart. In a truck, always need some extra space. Colorado. I like the Colorado. I like the trucks itself. It's just amazing. That's amazing how many things you have to do when you get in the truck for yourself. If you don't have a truck, you don't need one. But as soon as you get in one, there is a lot of different things you have to move. There is a lot of friends and relatives who's calling you, hey, you got the truck, so help me out, help me out. So you basically, if you're not getting the truck for work, be ready just to help people around you. Z71 Silverado, let's go inside. Nobody in the car, so I'll be in the car. This car, 68300 MSRP, and that's a Z71 Trail Boss. Can we start it up and drive it off? No, we cannot. The shifter is cool. Uh, moonroof. I like it. All kind of buttons, they are same design as uh, all the Chevys, so it is always reminding you about the brand you want to drive. I think most of the cars, I can smell it, like the Mercedes or BMW, they have their own smell. Subaru, Toyota, they do have a smell as well. American cars, they are questionable for me, but most of the time Chevy, they are smelling kind of the same. Duramax, Duramax 3.0. So this 3.0 Duramax, they use it for the Cadillac Escalade. They use it for the Chevy Silverado. They use it for the Tahoe Suburban. And now they are presenting, so you can check it out. Beautiful. I'm gonna show you right away. <laughs> where all the mechanics gonna face the problems sooner or later not on the front of the engine on the back of the engine because the way this car the way this engine sits in the car it's this way but come on over here so we are getting the timing chain on the back of the engine so basically later on when you're gonna have a problem you have to pull the engine out and take it apart before you're gonna do the tensioner or the chain or the guides why like why <laughs> some heavy heavy trucks 3500 it's super rare car in los angeles Trail blazer active. They was never give up. Do you want to see the trail blazer inside? All right, question four. The legendary Chevrolet engine was introduced in '55, and it changed the. Let me go over this uh, magazine. I'm gonna leave it inside the car. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's just so funny. Look at the new style, new design, right? All the buttons we have. Oh, nice. We have a regular USB, not uh, Type-C. Climate control, all the buttons, all full. But what is that? <laughs> Why? Uh, okay. Okay. They turned the sound off. So nobody can play with that. So Let's go. We have a very close match going. Two more questions and we'll find out who got the Power lead right. gate. Which advanced safety technology can detect Power the lead gate. Like that's pedestrian is it? in the bay. Oh, no, it's not. As a hint, you should always keep your eyes ahead. Seesaw oh, it is. Power yeah, oh, lead gate. You can watch people. That can be fun. On the trail, what is it? But it's not working. Ranking. New Honda CRV, HRV. What do you think about new CRV? I think whatever Honda doing, whatever design they're producing, nobody cares. People just buy it. 
34,800 MSRP on this one. And we got the cloth seats. Just nice, simple car for daily driving purposes. And a lot of options. Collision prevention, emergency braking system, a lot of space. And so I'm punching it here and the hood just jumping and making noise. That's the Honda, that's the 34,000 MSRP. 29,000 MSRP HRV. I hope they change the transmission. I hope they got rid of that uh, CVT with million problems. Honestly, this fender much, much nicer quality than the CRV fender. New Civic. Oh, actually, that's the one. That's the one they. Uh, presenting somewhere around here so you can actually ride on it there's a test drive for the e-bike or whatever they call it Ta that's the car a lot of people been talking about that's the honda prelude and they call it concept means the car is not existed yet as a production unit the more you're gonna ask about this car uh, your Honda dealer the more points Honda gonna get itself to start building this car that's basically usually the way the way it's working all those concept cars prelude concept So what do you guys like? You like uh, you like CRV? You like the Pilot? You got triple exhaust pipe, Honda Type R. There is other one right there. Look at that one with body kit. San Fernando Valley waiting for this car. It's an Acura, but looks like honda civic i think it's the same platform type s it is same platform it's the same base but it's going to be luxury civic what do you think about design from the outside from the outside i would say is uh, it is kind of recognizable as the aquara they do have a specific design Luck. And uh, I don't know why it's locked, but it's all solid. I don't think it's a prototype. I think it's going to be in production. Oh, it's already in production. So here we can uh, check the interior. You want to close? We can open the doors. Type S. ZDX. ZDX type type S. Climate control in the back, panoramic roof. Oh la la. <laughs> what, what is that? Oh la la. Don't do it. Why are you doing it? I mean, look, for example, my kids or me, I want to hang out from the door. <laughs> so funny. It is funny. For, if it would be 23, 28,000 MSRP for this car, I wouldn't say it's funny. But because this car is going to be, I think, about 70,000. So they over there, uh, representative from Acura, they're not going to watch. They're not going to see it, but I'm going to do it again. Look at this piece. Look at all those scratches. 
It's a demo. Nobody drove it. It's just sitting. All the scratches right there. This plastic pieces right here. You want me to try to find more, uh, more stuff like that? <laughs> I'll do so. Why not? Hyundai's Bank and Olson sound system. So Acura got a nice sound system. Look the way they set these cars. Just step back and look what the light. The way they put the lights on the car, so they're gonna be like blooming, you know? You're walking from anywhere, you see the Hyundai's white light, you see the Subaru, they put it between the trees. But look at the Acura, look at the cars, they wanna sell it. Look at the cars, people jumping in and out. That's, that's the Honda Civic, I mean Acura. Type S, whatever it is, Integra or whatever they call it. Yeah, that's actually Integra. That's I'm right. I, I have I never see this car. I never even uh, just because I'm not interested in about Acura. That's why. But the new Integra, so they basically took the Civic. Civic hatchback type R and put it on the Aqua Integra. Remodel it, facelift it, facelift it, Impreza, Crosstech, Outback. Okay, this one didn't change. Subaru is the best 15-16 kind of saying 9 miles on the car. Nokia unfortunately, so we cannot drive it. <laughs> unfortunately we cannot drive it. Sport edition cross track. Outback. Welcome to your new car. Right here. Subaru, it's a special love in my heart. I love it so much. From my childhood until, until right now, I love it. Doesn't matter what they do, it doesn't matter how bad or how good they are, I love Subaru. Consumer reports evaluates vehicles for car shops. Why they put the trash can right there? It's like uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna use the Subaru the to, are in. to Subaru move the trash. Is the 2023 best mainstream automotive brand, according to Consumer Reports. Yeah. Subaru has seven Look at those rims, WRX. Look at the rims. Forester, Solterra, Crosstrek, it's nice. Ascent, Impreza, and Legacy. It's easy to love a brand you can trust. It's easy to love a brand. I think Colin McRae. He was the last guy who's been doing good on the Subaru. Seminyuk, Williams and Seminyuk. Let's go to the new Forester because uh, Impreza, uh, the Crosstrek and Outback, they got the face lifted. But the Forester 2025, it's completely new car. Wow. So Subaru, they went all the way. Look at, look at the, look at the, look at this. The way they build it. Forester, love you can trust. Can you trust your love? Uh, hey, you can open the door. Uh, <laughs> 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 
probably some people are gonna say, oh, it's a total loss. <laughs> it is. I crashed my car on 10th <laughs> <laughs> it, it is it is a total loss, but uh, some people can easily fix it overnight, and it's going to be for sale in downtown Los Angeles soon. <laughs> like long, long time ago, when I got my first Subaru uh, WRX, long, long time ago, XRT Santa Fe. What's the starting MSRP for this car? Not announced. That's the same. Zombie apocalypse. Do not touch. Okay. Got it. Let's go inside because this car is locked. Let's go check the other one. Yeah, let's go. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. <laughs> I want to go get the coffee. I want a coffee. I have no idea. It's uh, it's free of charge. So at the end of the LA Auto Show 2023, we're gonna check it out the Lucy, and that's the Gravity the SUV Lucid, the one they the one they showed it yesterday, I think. But see, you cannot go to there, you cannot touch it, you cannot see what's going on inside the car because it's basically, it's kind of ready, but same time it's not ready. So I think they're working on some stuff to improve, some stuff they might going to change it or replace it. So it's not the, it's not the prototype, that's actual car, but it's not ready for the mass production, that's why they, they don't want people to touch it yet. In general, I think the Lucid, they do not bad, but the sales sales not not going as planned basically they they not not filing for bankruptcy yet but they close by i think they spending more money than uh, than they making oh that's just the uh, staff oh is it okay yeah. we're going to check it out inside Check it out what's going on inside. How roomy and uh, spacious this car. Misha, let's go in the back. Thank you. Mike. Mir. Wow. Honestly, on the back, it's more comfortable than the uh, uh, Tesla. Climate control, jump on the front. 
thank you so much for uh, guys for watching it please subscribe if you didn't do that yet uh that's pretty much it nothing nothing impressed me uh today i lay out the show there is nothing i would buy right away no.